uh, we don't have a lot of minorities in the Midwest. I don't know if you've been. So I remember growing up, like, I would have really interesting conversations with my classmates. Like, one time I asked this girl out, and she was like, hey, listen, don't take this personally, but I'm just not that into Asian guys. And I'm standing there like, Megan, I am the only Asian guy you know. This is extremely personal. What in the world are you talking about? Man? She just kept going. She's like, I don't know, Asian guys, are so, they're so short, and they're kind of skinny, and their names are always Fumi or whatever. I'm like, that, that is me. You were just, that is a sample size of one, you monster. Uh. My girl reveals to me that she does not think I'm hot at all. And this is, okay, listen, this is what she told me, okay? She told me that she's dated hot dudes in the past, and I didn't know there's apparently hot guys they take off their t-shirts like this and they're about to hook up with you. It's one motion. They cross their arms. <laughs> she says, I take off my t-shirt like this, like one arm. <laughs> like, sometimes people say ignorant things about my culture. Uh, just not because they're being malicious, but just because they didn't know anything about us, right? Like the first of middle school, I told everybody it was Japanese. There's a kid in the back of the classroom with a confused look. He raises his hand. He's like, hey, man. I once had a Chinese friend. What is the difference between where he's from and where you are? <laughs> and the teacher looked at me because she didn't know either. <laughs> so I started answering him like, well, overall, they're two different countries, man. In fact, China is actually a much older country than Japan. It's like 3,000 years old. Japan's about 2,000 years old. Right when I said this, my teacher just cussed me off and goes, okay, everybody, are you listening? Japanese people are just younger Chinese people, okay? She gave the girl in the front row the microphones so they could sing that song together. But obviously this chick got a really big Asian accent. And like, I don't know if you guys ever tried to sing a Beyonce song with an Asian accent. But that is the most disrespectful thing you can do to music, okay? Dude, like single ladies just turned into shing hoo ladies. You know what I'm saying? Right? And accents, they completely change the song, you know what I mean? Because like, Single Ladies, that's a song about an independent woman, but Shinguru Ladies, that is a song about a sad Japanese widow. You know what I'm saying? 